When Austin Howard was a young kid growing up, he had never even heard of hockey or ice or snow. I was like impressed. I was like, how, how do people do that? Like, how, how can they say in ice? Austin is a sophomore on the St. Cloud Cathedral JV team, and he has come a long way, literally. Austin was born in Haiti. Both of his parents died when he was young, and he was raised in an orphanage. Patrick and Dana Howard had four biological children of their own, but always wanted to adopt. They made a connection with Austin through the orphanage's website, along with twins, Amy and Andy, who are not biologically related to Austin, but were at the same orphanage. In January 2010, the Howard family of six became nine. It was the beginning of a world of new experiences. When he first came, he really didn't know how to write. I remember vividly when we were picking him up in Haiti, he had to you know, sign a form. We had to show him his name so he could copy it. Once the three kids arrived in Minnesota, the late January cold was something completely new. And unloading our big duffel bag of coats and hats and mittens, and here you put this on, put this on, put this on, and just walking out those doors to 20 degrees and... They like seeing their breath yes, in the air. Yes, yes, they did. <laughs> that yes. was a new experience for them. Shortly after settling in St. Cloud, Austin discovered video clips on the computer of this game played with sticks and pucks. I said, like, can I play hockey? And they said, well, first, um, your schoolwork needs to, to get done. You, you gotta get good grades. And I guess your, your behavior needs to change too, because I wasn't a very nice kid. It took a year, but Austin improved his grades and cleaned up his behavior. My dad like, was like, Austin, come here. And then he opened up the computer and then started signing me up for hockey. I was like, pretty excited. I was like, oh, wow, what's happening? The first time I started skating was at Lip George, and I was just skating around. And then, like, my friends were talking about um, there's this place, like, where there's nets, and you can skate with the puck. And I went there, but I didn't have any pucks or sticks. This man came up to me and was like, well, you like this stick? I was like, yeah. I, I, and I was very happy about it. I was like, oh, my goodness, I got a stick. And then I got a puck, and I started shooting the puck around. And I came home and was like, Mom, look, I got a stick. Just by close observation, Austin taught himself the rules of hockey and how to stop on his skates and almost everything else he needed to know before starting organized hockey. Austin has been playing now for three years. In the hockey world, that means he has less experience than most sports. Usually when players pick up the game later in life, it's very difficult. A lot of kids don't do it because you're too far behind but he has acclimated himself so well that you could come and watch our practice and there's no way that you would be able, it just doesn't pure skating alone that he's only been playing for three years. Austin is a left winger on the Crusaders' second line. Last month, he scored the game-winning goal in a JV game and immediately afterward was rewarded with a big opportunity. He came off and he said, varsity, right coach? And I said, yeah, and he thought we were joking. And then he went into the locker room and our JV guys went and said, no, Austin, I mean, he had taken off his shoulder pads and everything, like, you're dressing in the JV room. I mean, I was in the varsity room and I could hear the JV room just erupt and everybody was cheering for him. So that was a pretty special moment for him. Austin is naturally athletic, great skater on the ice and a very good soccer player as well. Sports are a big part of his life now, playing a more significant role than he may even realize. Coming from an orphanage where it's kind of everybody is their own boss and out for themselves to being on a team and working with a team and dealing with strengths and weaknesses. It's not just about playing hockey. The team's about developing these young men, and giving them some character through the game of hockey. Austin Howard has come a long way, both figuratively and literally. Now he's just one of the guys to his Crusader teammates, a brother and son to his family members. But it has been quite the journey from Haiti to hockey. Um happy like I'm I'm very I'm grateful for them to be able to do that for me and my two older siblings I'm very grateful for that I have a family that I live with every day and I, I get to play hockey and that's really nice